Hi, this is Scott Cranmore from 67 Music. We are sitting here in Irving City Park in Portland, Oregon, and we are talking with the Los Angeles band Crackmore, who are in town to do a show tomorrow night at Mount Tabor Park. We would like to uh, say hi to the band and introduce them and talk a little bit about their music. Hi, I'm John. I'm Nancy. And I'm Dave. I'm Sean Fickhollin. Excellent. So uh, the new album, let me get this on camera here real quick, or the latest album is called From Hill and Hooli. Uh, it is uh, an outstanding album. I enjoy it very much. There's some very familiar sounds on there, but it's also done with uh, their take on the music. Uh, I wanted to start by asking, uh, where does the name Crackmore come from and what is the history behind it? Well, Crackmore came about, that name came about um, when we were releasing our first record mm -hmm. about 12 years ago. Uh, which is titled O, and um, the band at that point it was a session band. It was called the Clumsy Lovers, mm. and Clumsy Lovers is a session tune, and uh, it was a great title for the band. However, there were two other bands called Clumsy Lovers. One of them in Minneapolis had just released a CD, like just before we released our CD. So we had to scramble find a new name, and we found a poster. We used to play in a pub called Molly Malone's on Fairfax. We played there for years, and uh, there was a big poster in the back all of gold and tobacco stain and it said crack more on it and it, it was it translates crack fun mm -hmm. more big and it was it was uh, advertising a, a music festival in Ireland somewhere so somebody brought it back and put it up on the wall of Molly Malone's so we kind of stole it from there crack more excellent excellent the uh, the the pub that's on the cover is that uh, is that an actual pub that or is an actual pub it's wow. in the northern part of um, the Irish Republic, that, okay. that pub is. It's an actual pub. Wow. Called Cragmore. Well, well <laughs> not quite. Oh, not quite. okay. I was going to say. <laughs> not quite. Yes. Not we quite. do have the, uh, the uh, luxury well, photo shop. Photo yeah. Shop. <laughs> yeah. But it's a real pub. Well, excellent. So the music that's on here, like I was saying, uh, there's uh, some familiar, familiar music on there. But what I like about it is, uh, as I was saying, is that you put your own take on it. Um, when you decide to do a song or to uh, do a rendition of a song, first off, why, what makes you choose a song? And secondly, how do you come up with the arrangements you come up with? For, for me, one of the, um, well, obviously what I like so much about Celtic music is the melody. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that, that's the dominant. So if I hear a melody that I really like and then um, we'll take it and play around with it and everything and just kind of see where it goes a little bit. But for me, it's it's the melody. Oh, yeah. So then we'll obviously we want to find tunes that seem to work together, flow together um, mm -hmm. uh, in their keys or if we're going to switch type signatures. But a lot of these arrangements have come out of kind of years of playing stuff around and, and working things together. and. Uh, just getting to uh, know each other musically and such. Yeah, and, and know the tune. Mm -hmm. You know, and some of them have. You know, we've had some. Uh, yeah, some of them are just kind of straight session tunes, and they work out really well. But we've, uh, you know, we took a Rocky Road to Dublin, which is such a familiar tune, and um, I mean, such a familiar song. And everybody knows the refrain to go one, two, three, four, five when it comes in the, in the chorus. And Nancy had heard uh, Butterfly, the other, another slip jig, both written in nine eight, and. Um, we just thought, well, let's try and work those together and see if we can change it up so that it's not so predictable, it doesn't go to the chorus all the time, mm -hmm. and be in, able to insert this butterfly, which is kind of a delicate, beautiful slip jig. And Rocky Road to Dublin is usually really hard and kind of a, almost a, a, a rock type song. It lends itself well to that. Right. So we actually tried to soften it a little bit mm -hmm. and, uh, and then held back the refrain that everyone recognizes the one, two, three, four, five until the very end. Yeah. It's kind of as the payoff. It, it is. It, it's kind of like a, it keeps people listening because they're waiting for that part to, to arrive. I, I agree. So you're on tour right now. How's it going? It's going great. Very well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, any any standout uh, sh crowds or uh, uh, towns so far that uh, you'll always remember? Or? Well, they've been beautiful settings. We were in Duval, Washington mm -hmm. on Wednesday. Wednesday. Park with a river running with a right river, by. Right. Which is it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And then, uh, and then the, the, another one with the lake, the lake, Meridian. lake Meridian, Meridian, which Meridian. was really beautiful. So yeah. there's a lot of water. Yeah. These beautiful like backdrops. Of the water. And then yeah. tomorrow night you're playing in the crater of a volcano. In a volcano. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> that so I think will be the uh, standout. Yes. So the excellent. Show. Excellent. Twenty seventh July. Yep. Yeah. So 27th of July. tell us about the volcano. 
Well, uh, they say that it's dormant and it hasn't erupted for tens of thousands of years. They but say. They say yeah. Who knows what could happen, <laughs> especially when you really get, get moving with the music, you know? <laughs> so. Yeah. So, okay, well, good. We, uh, we wanted to let people know where they can find the album and where they can find the band Crackmore if they are not in town or if they can't make it to the show, which I don't know why they wouldn't. Uh, so, uh, where can we find find the album and other works by Crackmore? Well, you can find a lot of information about Crackmore at crackmore.com. Okay. And you can find the records. There are links from crackmore.com store page to CD Baby. We really support CD Baby. They support musicians. They're right with Independent. So they've helped us get it onto uh, the Apple iTunes store. You can mm -hmm. find individual tracks at the Apple iTunes store. Amazon.com also carries the record. And we sell a few of them through the website. Uh, we don't sell all of these records through the website, but okay. CD Baby, Amazon.com, iTunes, Apple store. And there's there's links on the website to all those all places? Those links. Yeah. So, uh, there's some videos up on YouTube. and. Uh, okay. There's lots of information we found course, on the site. Twitter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're tweeting you. The handle is at Crackmore. This is how we met you guys, of course, which is so great. And uh, Facebook. Facebook, we've got Crackmore Facebook page. So Excellent. So there you go. Find us, fan us, like us. Wow. There's, a, there's more than I knew, actually. So uh, www.crackmore.com. Uh, and we will see you at the show tomorrow night at Mount Tabor Park. And we thank you very much for your time, and we uh, hope it's a great gig. We'll see you then. Well, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks for doing this with us. See thank ya. you very much. Bye -bye.